Hey YouTube, how's it going? Kiriyama Sparta here, aka Kiriyama Triple Six on PlayStation Network. Hm. Uh, just uh, gonna do my Sony collection now. Uh, so that'll be my uh, PS3, PSP, and PS2 games. Uh, pretty big uh, collection as well, so I think I'll split this one into two. Uh, this video will be on my PS3 and my PSP games, and then the next video will be on my PS2 ones. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's get started. Okay, well, I do like to keep it alphabetized, but this one's a bit bigger, so... We'll start off, yes, I do have Mass Effect 3 on both consoles, as well as Mass Effect 2 on both consoles. Uh, long story short, uh, picked up 2 on the 360, loved it, completely beat it. Um, then, you know, just it just kind of stayed there. About a year later, I really wanted to go through 2 again, and uh, Mass Effect 2 on uh, PS3 was about 20 bucks at the time. So I figured, yeah, why not, I'll try it again on a different console. Uh, you know, still love that game, Mass Effect 2. Definitely in my top five favorite games of all time. Uh, and I figured I'd have the same feeling with 3, so when 3 came out, I picked it up on both consoles. So, uh, yeah, this one has gone unplayed so far, but uh, but it'll probably get uh, it, it'll get its dues <laughs> in about eight months. Who knows? Okay, then uh, next up we got 3D.Game Heroes. Really great game by Atlas. Um, basically plays like an old school... Uh, I uh, think the link to the past. Um, very good, uh, very fun, very pokes fun at itself. I really do enjoy that. Uh, give her a try. It's it's pretty cheap now. Yeah, pretty easy to find too. And then we have Artanelico Oga. I think is how it's pronounced. Nell of R C L C. You know, in game languages they're just weird. Um, I really did like Artanelico two on the P S uh, two, but uh, this one. Not so good. Um, it's just kind of a bare bones. I, I didn't really get that into the fighting system, uh, mainly because it yeah, whole fights. It's either one of these girls just stripping, and that just makes it really weird and uh, kind of pervy. Not for me. Um, then we have Atelier uh, Totori, uh, the Adventurer of Arland. Uh, this is the second Atelier game on the PS3, um, released here, I believe. I don't have the first one. This is the second one. Uh, a buddy of mine picked up the first one. He hated it. He said it was way too girly. Uh, you know, didn't listen to him. Picked this one up. And it is kind of girly, but you know what? It's still a super, super good game. Uh, I do enjoy the fight system. It's it's just a really good RPG. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Uh, then we got uh, Cross Edge here. Haven't played. It's another game by Nis America. Uh, it's a company I really do hold dear to my heart. Um, you, you'll notice uh, going through the PS2 games as well. Uh, kind of a Nis America whore. I uh, haven't played this one yet though, so uh, we'll see. We'll see how that one is. Uh, then we got uh, Dead Space. Um, yep, Mass Effect 3 is not the only one I own on multiple consoles. Uh, this one, I think I got this one for like two bucks, so I don't know. Once again, just wanted to go through Dead Space again, but yeah, may as well go through it on a different console. Uh, next up, we have, if I can actually get it out of there, okay, maybe not, but you can see, um, Demon Souls, um, Dark Souls Older Brother, <laughs> uh, very good game, very challenging, um, if you've played Dark Souls, you know, if, uh, you know, you're a pretty avid PS3 collector, I'm pretty sure most people own this game, and, uh, yeah, you're gonna die a lot, they don't lie. Uh, then we got Devil May Cry 4. Yes, once again, a uh, a uh, <laughs> copy of something I have on 360. Actually, thinking of how many PS3 games I have that I also have on 360, it's uh, kind of sad. Um, but I did get the collector's edition here because I had the PS3 first, so when Devil May Cry 4 came out, I had to pick it up on there. Um, speaking of this America, we got good old Disgaea 3. Really do enjoy this game. Uh, you know, it's Disgaea. Uh, they all pretty much, <laughs> pretty much follow the same pattern. So if you like the other ones, you're really gonna like this one. Um, although I will say it's probably my second, uh, my second least favorite in the series. Uh, Disgaea 4, I really did enjoy a lot more than 3. Um, mainly because with 3, it just felt like a PS2 game on a PS3. Here they at least gave you some HD sprites. It was a lot better game to look at. 
Um, and a lot more stuff to do. I, I really did enjoy that. Um, once again, from before, uh, Eternal Sonata. Now, the PS3 version here has uh, more content, and this is the one I've actually played. I haven't played the 360 version. Uh, that one I bought by mistake because I forgot I owned it on PS3 as well. Um, very good game, though. I really do like this RPG. If you give her a chance, uh, you'll, you'll like it. Um, folklore. Uh, very underrated game. I don't think... Okay, not underrated. I think it scored fairly high with everybody, but did not sell that well. Um, very good game. Uh, check her out. Very great art style. And just really fun to play. Um, great PS3 exclusive. Uh, then we got the God of War collection. 1 and 2 in HD. Uh, still need to play through this one, but, you know, it's God of War. You can't go wrong. <laughs> and then, of course, we got God of War 3. Um, you know, as much as I plowed through the first uh, two God of Wars on PS2, still have yet to beat this one. I really should get on that, but, uh, you know, it's God of War, so it's got to be good. Um, Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain, I love I really do love this game, uh, just for the sheer fact that it, it, it is like a movie. Well, it is a movie that you interact with, but uh, it's like a movie in the sense that sometimes you just you just feel like you, you got to play Heavy Rain. You just got to, and then uh, that's what it's there for. Uh, another Nis America game, uh, Hyper. Let's see, Hyper Dimension Neptunia. Uh, haven't played this one. Uh, this is another one of those random Nis games I picked up just because. It was in this game, or NIS America, for anyone who's getting mad at me for mispronouncing it. <laughs> uh, then, of course, we got the Ico Shadow of the Colossus double pack. Um, Ico, I still need to play through. Haven't played through it yet. Shadows of the Colossus, or Shadow of the Colossus, sorry. Love that game. It's, oh, it's just, you, you know it. If you haven't played it, definitely play it. It's, it's so good. Uh, then we got Infamous 1. Really love Infamous, uh, just the series in a whole. Um, you know, it did come out the same time as uh, as Prototype, but uh, I do feel this is the stronger game, in my own opinion. Uh, so, of course, since I love that one, <laughs> picked up Infamous 2. Um, Infamous 2 is, yeah, I really do like this. I like it when a sequel, I, I feel, is better than the prequel, or the first one, however you want to say, in every way. That was, that was really good. Um... Another one of the collections I like to pick up, the uh, Jack and Daxter collection. Uh, loved them on PS2. I don't own them anymore, um, so definitely pick this up just to go through them again. Great collection for uh, for very cheap as well. Um, now we got Little Big Planet. Um, you know how, how it is. It's a very good platformer. Lots of uh, user content. Haven't played it in a while, but uh, very good game. Uh, <laughs> uh, then we got Mass Effect 2. Uh, you know the story. Great game. Love that game. And uh, here we go. And then we got Metal Gear Solid 4. Um, I remember being super, super stoked. Uh, you know, just before it came out, just hearing everything about it. And you know what? Did not disappoint. Love this game. Uh, the final boss fight, I won't spoil it, but it's, it's definitely my top five favorite boss fights. And then we got Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Uh, same story as Ninja Gaiden 2 on Xbox 360. A lot of bad memories. We're moving on. <laughs> uh, then we then I picked up uh, No More Heroes Paradise. Uh, very good game. Loved it on the Wii. Um, I don't play my Wii anymore. Uh, as you've noticed, none of the Wii games are on the shelf here. I might do a Wii and GameCube game uh, collection later. I do still have them. I just don't put them up on the shelf. Um, really good game. Definitely give that a try. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Tools of Destruction, you know, you loved it on PS2, you're going to love it on PS3, I know I did. Um, and then there's Ratchet and Clank Future, A Crack in Time. Haven't beaten this one yet, though. Um, very good, though, just like just like uh, Tools of Destruction. Definitely give her a try. Uh, then we got Resistance 1, Fall of Man. Uh, haven't beat, or no, this one I have beaten. Very good game. Uh... Definitely give her a try. It's it's a pretty interesting story. Uh, Resistance two, <laughs> haven't played yet, so I'm I'm only guessing it's really good. Uh, Rock Band one, pretty self-explanatory. Rock Band two, you know, same thing. Uh, Silent Hill Homecoming. Uh, it's all right. It's probably my least favorite Silent Hill. Um, it's yeah, 
but uh, you know it's it's okay. Give her a go through. It's it's fairly cheap now. Uh, Tales of Grace F. I love the Tales series. Uh, just picked this one up. Haven't played it yet though. But uh, as soon as I get in the mood for an RPG, that one's getting done. Uh, then we got, if you can see in there, the uh, Sly Cooper collection. Uh, once again, just like the Jack and Daxter collection. Uh, very good games. Definitely give them a try. Um, I've only beaten the first one there on the collection, but I'm looking forward to the other two. Uh, then we have Trinity Universe, another Nis America title. Uh, I have put a bunch of time in this one. I do enjoy it. It's it's a pretty basic RPG, but uh, I like it. Um, you now, of course, if you have a PS3, you got to get Uncharted. You know it. Pick her up. It's good. Uh, you know, it's so good, it warrants picking up uh, number two, which is also very good, and number three, which, you know, big surprise, very good. Um, now, here we go. Um, this may be, um, I'm going to put in my, definitely my top five favorite uh, PS3 games. You know, I guess it's not saying a lot, considering how many I own, but, um, yeah, Valkyria Chronicles, amazing game, super fun to play. Um, I love the blend of... Uh, uh, it's very uh, tactic as well as a third-person shooter. Super great game. Pick her up. And the art style is just gorgeous. It's so good. It's like watching a watercolor painting come to life. It's it's amazing. Uh, next we have Warhawk. Um, I believe I just ended up getting this one because uh, I just wanted to get a Bluetooth headset to go with my PS3. Um, really surprised, though. Super fun game. I uh, really do enjoy it. Uh, it's a really good. It's online only, but it's really really fun. Uh, if you give it a chance, uh, you're gonna you're gonna kill a lot of hours. Uh, Yakuza Three. Unfortunately, haven't played. <laughs> and uh, Yakuza Four as well, haven't played. Um, but I hear they're really good. You know, but I, I have really trouble jumping into a game uh, by the fourth mark. And actually, this video did run a bit longer than I was expecting. Uh, so, you know what, I'm just going to cut it off here for the PS3 games. Uh, next, I'll be doing my PSP games, and then after that, I'll be going to the PS2 uh, as well. Um, if you'd like to see my uh, GameCube and Wii collection after these, uh, you know, definitely uh, leave a comment on the videos, let me know. I can definitely do those. I won't be pulling them off the shelf. I'll probably just pile them up and show them one by one. Um, but, uh, yeah, so uh, that'll do it for now. Uh, this is Kiriyama Sparta uh, signing off. Uh, if you enjoyed, please subscribe. I got more videos coming on the way. And uh, yeah, have a good one.